What is up everybody? This is Moritz here from Sectionster once again and today we are going to be having a look at this featured icon section right here. You can link it directly to whatever link you prefer. It comes with this nice little animation and you can also customize the little layovers and colors in that icon section right here. And I'm going to show you in a few easy steps so you can get that for your store and also customize it to your liking. So let's just jump right into it. The first thing I did for that is that I added an over to the Shopify app store where I did get the section store app completely for free. It's a non-subscription app. It comes with over 200 fully customizable components, Shopify exclusive. And the nice thing about it is that even after you delete the app, but you installed the section already, you're going to stick with the section because it's getting implemented right into the code of your store. All right, let's find the section real quick. So it's called featured. Maybe feature. <laughs> Sorry for that. We should find it here in a second. Yeah, that's the one. Feature 12. Like I said already, app itself is completely free. We do charge a one-time fee of $9 for this one though, because it comes with a lot of customization options and there was a lot of work put into it, but it's a one-time charge only. That means if you bought it once, you'll own it forever and you're not going to need an expensive developer to custom code that stuff for you. And at the end of the day, you can still customize it. So I think that's a lot of nice benefits which come with that section. Before actually using it, you have to head to the My Sections area of the app where you find a collection of all the sections you own. And that's where you have to add it to the theme you're using. In my case, it is the Dawn Live theme, but we optimized it for every theme. So don't worry about that. And then simply just scroll all the way up here, open your theme editor right there, which I've already done so. And that is the one you saw in the beginning of the video. And that's just want to show you how that whole section works. That's the feature 12. If you want to edit completely from scratch, just scroll all the way down and type in feature 12. And it should show up right here. But we've already done so. So I saved you a bit of time right there. And yeah, that's the one you saw in the beginning of the video. And if we add another item right here, you can see you get a little default icon right here. And if we click on it, we can decide what we actually want to customize. So here you can see that little plant icon and I want to have it in a nice looking green tone. So I will begin with the background color of the whole thing. So like I said, we want to have like this nice earthy looking green tone. So that's going to be the main background. And here is how I will operate further. So the shadow color of that is also going to be the same green tone but it will make it a little bit lighter. So we'll choose something like that. So we get this nice little shadow effect. Let me tweak it a bit. So the contrast gets better here. Yeah, that is looking good. Maybe a bit lighter. Maybe I make the main background a little bit lighter. And then I'm happy with it. Let's also do the main icon itself. I want to do that in a very dark green. So I'm going to go down even more. So we have a nice contrast right here. That is looking good as well. And now we'll change the title here. So instead of title, <laughs> I want to have echo-based products. That's looking good. And the text is going to be just something random. I'll just copy this one real quick. So yeah, that's good. So here we created one of those blocks right here. And that is pretty much set. And if I want to do changes to the whole thing itself, I'm just going to click on the feature icon block. You can already see the main headline. So we could use a custom font for that right here. You can see it's getting changed. And here are just a bunch of other things like we can decide how many items we want to have per row. So if I switch to the actual one, you see there's five items per row now. Of course, the whole thing is fully responsive. So if I switch to mobile, it's going to look like that. And you can just swipe through like that. And we're going back to desktop. So that's what we're going to do. We can decide how much gap is going to be in between the items and a bunch of other things. So yeah, that is pretty much that. We can also change the whole background and the heading color, for example. So if you want to have that in that green tone as well, that is, of course, possible. And yeah, that's pretty much that. And here you can also see some responsive options we have for the whole thing. And yeah, let's have a final look at it in the live version. Let's save it up here real quick. And it should be done in a second. Let's give this a little reload so we make sure our changes get implemented. Yeah, and as you can see here, the new one got implemented and all the other ones are here too. 
change the font here and the color. And that pretty much brings us to the end. Hope you guys found that useful. If you did, always feel free to leave a like and peace out.